managing database is one of the most essential um, skill that a database um, guy needs to have or a programmer needs to have. So one of the things that also makes a, a, a programmer um, uh, manage database, of course, are its uh, different database management tools. Now, um, in web programming or in web development, um, the most common uh, database management tools, especially if you're using MySQL, is uh, PHPMe admin. But uh, one of the things that is uh, for me, uh, uh, one of the things that uh, I find um, quite hard in um, PHPMe admin is how to configure it properly, especially if you're going to install it manually on a Linux box or even just uh, on a local computer. That's why I, I would often rather use um, XAMP than, than to configure it manually. Okay, so because it's a lot faster, it doesn't take that much time, and at the same time, uh, I can actually easily work on it uh, the soonest, at the soonest time possible. But uh, there's one tool that I have been using, especially if I'm going to upload a, uh, a, a uh, uh, if I were to upload a database um, online, which uh, only uses a single uh, file, which is actually called AdMiner. So this is actually AdMiner. So this is the latest version of AdMiner. It's 4.8.1. Okay, let me just try to show you also where you can download AdMiner. So this is the official website of AdMiner. So this is uh, database management in a single PHP file. So you can basically manage um, your database uh, using just a single PHP file. So there's no need for you to configure your your database in order for you to manage uh, your your database. There's no need, there's no um, configuration actually. There's little to no configuration at all. Um, if you wanted to just have a quick um, and dirty uh, tool, then I would suggest that you try to use AdMiner. Okay, so um, in AdMiner, uh, you can have, or you can connect to this uh, different databases. So if we have here MySQL, SQLite 3, SQLite 2, Postgre, Oracle, MSSQL, MongoDB, and Elasticsearch. Okay. So those these are the databases or the system that is uh, being supported by uh, AdMiner. Okay, so um, I'm just also going to give you uh, a, a short demonstration on how to use AdMiner. So I've already specified here my uh, uh, server, which is localhost. Okay, uh, let me just try also to specify my other uh, credentials. So for uh, for my username, it's df. Um, then for my password. Okay, we'll try to use the previous database that we have created called CSS underscore theme. Okay, then let's just try to click login. Okay, don't save. Okay, so we already have our uh, interface or this is our home page. So uh, basically, if you wanted to run or execute SQL commands, what you can do is just click SQL commands. Okay, let's try to do that. Let's try to select all from. Okay, let's try to look for. Uh, let me just try to look for first uh, the, the table, okay, theme. Okay, I actually forgot. So we'll, we'll use theme for our table, uh, for our uh, sample. So let's just try to query. So let's try to execute a command and let's try to see what uh, the contents of this uh, particular um, table. Okay. Select all. From. Okay, then we'll try to execute. Okay, so these are all the different um, data or different uh, rows that is found on our uh, SQL uh, on our theme table. Okay, so we can edit if you want. Okay, uh, we can actually edit it uh, using the SQL command. Okay, but if you don't want to edit using the SQL command, let's just try to look for. Uh, something else. Okay, let's try to import. We can also import um, SQL file and SQL file, or say we can also e export. So these are the different um, export uh, format that that is, is supported by AdMiner. So you can um, export uh, SQL, CSV, CS, uh, CSV comma, CSV um, semicolon, and TCSV. Okay. So it, it also can be uh, 
a use drop pass create or create can also be added in our database as well as um, adding routines and events so if you wanted to include routines and events then you can uh, have it check okay then let's try to create a new table and try to see what will happen okay so let's say for example uh, we'll create uh, since we already have a theme table let's try to create post okay so let's try to select our engine so let's just try to use um my isam okay so let's try to leave it as is then we have our column name yeah, id length it's let's try to specify 255 uh let's try to leave it as is Let's try to make it as uh, our um, auto increment. Okay. Then um. Uh, okay, so this is auto increment. So let's also add um, first name. For our first name, I'd say to use uh. Var card. Maybe I'd say to make it 150. Okay. Then last name, make it Varkar as well. Then try to make it um 100. Okay. And then let's just try to click save. Okay. So as you've noticed, you already have two tables. The first table is post and the other table is uh, team. Now, um, we can also alter our... We can select our data. As you've noticed, there's no uh, data, no, no row, no rows yet yet. So meaning our, our table is still empty. So post table is still, em still empty. Uh, let's try to alter. Maybe let's try to add another field. Okay. So that's it. Let's try to add another field. Make it um date. So make it date of birth. Okay. Hmm. So I have to make it for car. This is just for demo purposes. Make it um fifty. Okay. Then uh, so I to click save. Okay. So we already have the following fields. So we have here um ID, first name, last name, date of birth. Now let's try to add our index. Okay. As you notice, uh, alter index. So by default, this is our index. This is our uh, primary key. Okay. So if we can, uh, if we wanted to add a new item. What you can basically do is just click this uh, new item. Okay, so let's try to have, uh, say, to make it one. Then a uh, first name. Let's try to make it um, Michael Jordan. So let's try to make it one, one, twenty, twenty-two. Then um, save and insert next. Okay, item has been inserted. Okay, let's try to make it two. Uh, A little bit blank. Pippen two two twenty twenty two. Click save. Okay, so we already have two rows. Now, if you wanted to view that the, if you just wanted to uh, view the contents of your table, what you can basically do is just click select. Okay, so we already have the following. So you can also modify if you wanted to edit. Let's say um, let's try to go back to post, um, or select. Okay, let's try to edit this. Oh, no, no, let's try to select. Then we can edit. You can also edit, make some changes, and just uh, save and continue edit or save. You can also delete if you wanted to. Now, um, although, uh, okay, so we already have it here. Item select if, we, if uh, the, the text length. Okay, then we can also export. Okay, so that's it. So for our data, we have here for our post, we have two rows. And for our theme, we have four rows. As you've noticed, we have our theme. We have, uh, okay, let's try to select data. We have four, four rows. Okay. Um, Adminer actually is not as powerful compared to a PHPB admin when it comes to a web-based uh, database management system. But for me, it will actually do the job as, as long as... Uh, uh, it doesn't, uh, it, it's not as uh, heavy um, uh, compared to uh, uh, compared to what you're going to do in uh, uh, PHP admin. I, uh, I would also, I would very much suggest that you use Adminer because Adminer is actually a, a great tool okay, for uh, uh, managing databases, especially if you, if you wanted it to be just a quick and dirty 
solution or quick and dirty uh, management um, management uh, database management tool so i would suggest you, that you try it out and um, you can download it here on, on this particular website uh, by the way i mean no means um uh i mean no means um associated with adminer i'm just uh one of those guys who uh, likes to share their posts and also make some uh um, reviews as well as uh, comments on the different tools that I have been using and hopefully you will also find those tools that I have been using uh, quite useful to your um, work or to your uh, to what you're currently doing especially if you're a, uh, a developer or a programmer so yeah put some uh, I would really appreciate also if you add some uh, comments regarding this particular review on, on the comment section If you find the contents of this blog useful or interesting, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. If you want it to be notified every time a new video is uploaded, don't forget to hit the bell notification button. Thanks.